India has more than 440,000 coronavirus cases and is now the world's fourth worst affected nation. In the capital city, the numbers are expected to increase from 60,000 this week to more than half a million by the end of July. A 10-week nationwide lockdown ordered in March was supposed to give the country's public health system a chance to prepare for the pandemic. But as parts of India reopen, people are struggling to get the attention they need. Srimati Om Prakash's husband was admitted to a government hospital three days ago. She says she'd been allowed inside occasionally to help him, but just found out that he'd been taken to the ICU. In the middle of this interview, she and her family received word that her husband had passed. <laughs> At many government hospitals, it often falls on the patient's family to provide their loved ones with basic items, like clean clothes, masks, and gloves. Some relatives told by Snooze there wasn't soap or running water in the bathrooms, and that even drinking water wasn't accessible to patients. But it's not just the patients suffering from shortages. Hundreds of doctors at government hospitals threatened mass resignations after not being paid for three months. They only got part of their overdue salaries when Delhi's high court intervened. Dr. Abhimanyu Sardana and his colleagues were fighting for their pay when they were given a two days heads up to convert their hospital into a COVID only facility. We need to have proper kits and proper N95 available around the clock. We need to have designated uh, residents to be working at COVID and ICUs and isolation units. If a resident has is posted in COVID duty, he has to be given a, an accommodation that has to be provided by the hospital. The last time I was in the emergency, I don't think there was any air condition available in that triage area. And trust me, you cannot sustain even one hour in that PP kit without an AC. City officials say some 80,000 hospital beds will be needed by the end of July, and that the government is designating hotels, spiritual centers, and even train coaches as makeshift facilities. But more beds won't help New Delhi survive the disease if doctors on the front line aren't adequately equipped. We are not taking enough measures and we are like making ourselves exposed to everything that may lead to us contracting the virus. Then I really feel that we are on that phase that we might go on to a 70 or 60% of people getting affected by this virus. <laughs> 